What's up guys, John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're going to talk about reviving girls that have gone cold or that have stopped replying to your text messages. Okay, so a typical situation like this, you send a message, the girl does not reply. You send another message, the girl does not reply. You send another message, the girl does not reply. So now you've created a, uh, for better or worse, uh, thread where she is habitually ignoring you. Okay. We've all been there. If you have not been there, you probably have not texted girls very much. Okay. This happens all the time. So what are you going to do? Okay. A lot of you have been instructed by other so-called gurus to just cycle through a collection of funny quips and memes. Okay. That's not going to get you very far. What I've found to be very effective is you message from another number. Okay, let me explain. It sounds fucking creepy and stalkerish on the surface. You can get an app called Burner. There's a variety of these apps where you can create a phone number. Okay, you can define the area code, etc. Um, or you can just make a Google Voice number. Okay, and you can text from that. You can make, I think, one Google Voice number for free with each Google account. And what you're going to do is say that you have a particular girl that's ignoring you, you're just going to message her, hey, from the other number. Okay, I use Google Voice number. I also have the burner apps. But I just message, hey, okay. Usually you get an Insta reply, okay. You, you'll, be <laughs> you'll be shocked at how quickly, because these chicks, they, they're always playing games, right? Oh, I'm, I'm too busy to answer any sooner than, than four days apart. Yeah, okay. Marketing research shows people look at their phones a hundred times a day. Most chicks are glued to their phones. She sees your message and as a tactic to gain power, the upper hand or whatever the fuck because she likes attention, she will purposefully ignore your text, okay? So typically, you will get an instant reply, okay? When you type, I just type hey or hey in her name if you know her name, if you happen to remember her name, okay? Um... Then she's going to reply usually, who's this, or, or something. It doesn't matter what she replies. And then you're going to say, that, now the format I do do the, of, with this text is I, I'm trying to like soften the creepy factor. It's not like, hey, like I'm, I'm, I'm working my way in since you are ignoring my other number. No, I say, hey, it's John from Bar X, Daytime Situation X, Tinder, Bumble, whatever fucking app I met her on, okay? Not to sound, not to see what I what I said, like not to seem uh, weird or whatever, but this is my work number, and you stopped replying to my other number. I'm wondering what happened. And all this is meant to do is make her feel first of all like a fucking idiot, all right, for ignoring you, but secondly, make her surface objections. That's the most important piece. So really, you just want to find out what the reason is. Well, you know, you were inviting me straight to your house before, and I just that just made me feel uncomfortable. And I, oh yeah, like no worries, I was in a good mood that day. I'm totally cool with meeting for coffee. When are you free for coffee? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, how about this day? Now, the power of hitting them from this other number is they're gonna feel guilty and shameful and stupid for ignoring you. Okay, and you're basically calling them out without doing it explicitly, because you're like, yeah. Uh, you started ignoring me. Why? I just want to know what happened. Or I was just wondering. I thought we had good chemistry. Or I thought we I thought we had a good connection. I was wondering why you stopped replying. It's not going to work every time. But it works enough. Okay, I found this to be one of the most effective ways. And I have my advanced friends doing this. And they're replicating it with good success as well. It's one of the most effective ways to get that lead back in the mix, so to speak. Um... In terms of at least repl replying, I, I think part of it, not only are you catching them off guard and they feel sheepish and somewhat guilty for ghosting you, but you also aren't battling against, like, like imagine like when you're looking at a text thread, right? If it's like you texted, she ignored, you texted again a different time, she ignored, you texted again a different time, she ignored. Maybe you even texted like fucking like a paragraph in one, one or two of those messages. So now it's like this wall 
of text, okay? And you're like adding to this pathetic wall. Whereas a fresh thread doesn't put you in as much of a low value position. Okay, do you see what's what's happening here? And I usually send a picture too. A lot of times I don't fucking remember who, who you are. Hey, it's John from Tinder with a picture, but in the picture caption, in the picture message, I'm saying like all in one text, I'm saying, um, not to seem weird, haha. -ha, um, but you stopped replying or you, you ghosted on my, on my other number and I'm really confused. Why? No big deal either way. I'm just curious. Right? So you're playing it off as nobody, you're basically giving yourself like an excuse to surface the real objections. Okay. Cause she usually stopped replying because of some objection. I gave the example of, Oh, she didn't want to meet the house. So she stopped replying. Uh, she got busy with work and she stopped replying. Um, her ex came back in the picture briefly and she stopped replying. Any of these things can be dealt with in turn. Okay. But you need it surfaced with her flat ignoring you and flat ghosting you. You are unable to successfully answer the objections. Okay. Um, if there are no objections, say she's like, oh, sorry. Like I just got, you know, I just forgot about it. I just got started, whatever. Oh, no problem. So when are you free? I go straight back to logistics. So when are you free to meet up? Okay. That's pretty much it. Um, I could go on and on and on and give examples but I'm making it short, sweet, and to the point. Um, yeah, look into making a Google Voice number or just get one of those free burner apps. Um, I will add one more side note here. If it's like a rotation girl or somebody and you want to have like a third-party person come in, uh, send one of your, like the best guy you know at game, if he'll do it for you, or your wingman, or just a friend, send him the girl's number and write out the text for him to send. Okay. So me and me and my uh, close friend who's advanced in the game, we do this for each, for each other all the time, right? Say you lose like your main chick, like she's pissed or she, you know, she's playing some kind of game or whatever. I'm like, yo, hit up this girl. Here's her number. Send this text. And it's usually of this format. Okay. So you can copy this kind of template. I say like, Hey, I'm John's friend. So-and-so, um, he told me about you guys. It sounds like you guys are really good together. He's confused why you're acting strange or he's confused why X what's going on with that. And this is very effective too, because now she feels shamed to you, but also shamed to the friend, right? Now, a lot of times she'll message you, right? Like say she hadn't been replying to you and then she'll message you. Oh, now our friend, now your friend knows our business. And I'll be like, oh, like I was just telling him about you. And if she's like, why'd you give him my number? You can be like, oh, I, I had pasted a screenshot of what you said and it had your number at the top, right? I didn't ask him to text you. I didn't know he was going to text you. So it's like it, it absolves the blame off you, right? Even though you are orchestrating this. And it allows you to have your friend now answer objections. And then what, he, what he'll do is either if, he, if he's good enough at it himself, he'll just do it and get her back on board. Basically, he's encouraging her to go have like a sit down talk with you in person. Okay, at the very least, start texting you back again. But to sit down and work things out where you can now steer things towards a positive outcome. Okay. But he usually what happens is he'll, he'll paste a screenshot or if I'm doing it for him, I'll paste a screenshot. Okay, say this next, right? And it looks like it's coming from him. It looks like it's coming from the friend when in reality it's coming from you. So now you're answering objections without having to look needy or desperate or anything like that, okay? Because you're doing it through this third party. Plus she feels like embarrassed and all this shit, but now she looks like a fucking retard for playing these games. <laughs> and, and your friend is, is uh, you know, now part of the whole drama scene, okay? So I hope that was helpful. Uh, go forth and resurrect some cold leads. This is all part of the game. I mean, it's not a hundred percent, but it's better than letting the leads fucking die. You should be working lots of volume. You're going to have these types of situations on a regular basis. And lots of times these things are very easily correctable. Meaning the reason why she disappeared was, was due to some easy to answer objection. All you need to do is surface it either through the secondary number 
or through your wingman or friend and she is back on board riding that cock okay thank you guys hope you had a great holiday and i will see you on the next video take care